All right, back again with another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to cover the lasso tool. The lasso tool has the ability to highlight with any object or point that you want selected. It's somewhat similar to the selection tool. Um, the selection tool has the ability to select any object as long as you click on that object. And you can have select multiple objects if you hold shift and you'll select another object or you hold down the mask key which will open up the marquee selection and then you'll be able to select multiple objects. Now with the lasso tool, um, the keyboard shortcut to access the lasso tool is Q and you're able to select as many objects. All you have to do is hold down the mouse key and it will outline the, the lasso tool in which you'll be able to select all the objects. Or you can select the points that make up the object. As you see here, there was actually like four points that made up the circle and I can select only two of the points if I wrap around the area that I want the points to be um, selected. And as you see here, the two points have been selected. I also can select multiple points of multiple objects if I just go all the way down and outline where I want to select the points. And as you see here in the orange and the light gray and the gray, I have selected multiple points that make up those objects. Now in this exercise, I mean, I can select maybe the leg that makes up the superhero dog. I can just hold down on the lasso. I mean, hold down the key. I mean, the mouse and select maybe the lower foot of the dog. So now I've selected the lower foot, I can manipulate with my arrow keys and maybe push it up or push it to the right, however I see fit. Let me deselect it. I can possibly maybe manipulate the cape by selecting the area I want it to be manipulated by. And now I've selected, I think, two points uh, that make up the cape. And now I can push it in or push it up or do whatever I want to manipulate it. I also can select the tail. If I deselect and then I just try to outline whatever points that make up the tail. And now I can manipulate it with the arrow keys by pushing it in or pushing it up. Or maybe I just want to make it bigger so I can use a free transform tool and hold alt and maybe expand it if I wanted to. Let me undo everything I just did. But with the lasso tool, you have the ability to do that. You can you can select certain points um, that make up the object and possibly um, scale it or rotate it or change whatever direction you want with it. But what makes it the best, what's the strength of the lasso tool is the fact that you can select multiple points and it's, that's the reason why it's better than just a selection tool or the direct selection tool. With the direct selection tool, you can also um, select multiple points, but it's just similar to the selection tool, which you are able, only able to use the marquee selection in order to get certain points. But with the lasso tool, you can get more specific points if you wanted to, and you're not able to do that with the direct selection tool. So that's what makes the lasso tool shine when you compare it to the direct selection tool and the selection tool.